Stuart Stewart and Stewart Productions, Mr. Stewart's office. Yes, Mr. Banderas. Mr. Stewart would love to see you today. How about 10.30? Hello, Mr. Nelson. Remember, I have a 10 o'clock with Mr. Stewart today. Let's make it 10.15. We love you too, Mr. Banderas. Hi, I've, uh, I've got a script for Mr. Nelson to read uh, if he gets a chance. It took me four years to write it and... Put it there. Right here? My contact information is on the back page. Thank you. <coughs> you know, I wrote that. Hmm. Never seen it. Just covers a stain on the wall. Really? Don't encourage her. Mr. Stewart, your 10 o'clock is here. Who is that again? Uh, Mr. Nelson. The zombie guy? Oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, send him in. Sign this guy, Skippy. Here's your new Batman. Excellent choice, sir. He's going to make Batman vs. Putin an even bigger hit than Batman vs. Elmo or Batman vs. The Flash. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Have a seat, Mr. Nelson. Can I get you a drink, Mr. Stewart? Scotch and water. How about you, Mr. Nelson? Oh, the same. Thank you. That's the shit, Skippy. That's the shit. Okay, Nelson, what do you got for me today? Oh. Well, I got a couple of uh, uh, a TV pilot, a couple of screenplays, uh, some kids' productions, things you uh, might want to glance over there. Um, let's see, I got. Uh, I oh, 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 here you go. This one is about a zombie that becomes a psychologist. He has great insight into the human mind. That's what he eats. <laughs> no, I can make him a brain surgeon. No? Okay, um, um, oh, oh. 
Ah, this one. It's about a young group of zombies, high school kids, that are outcasts, and they form a singing group, and I call it Zomglee. Hmm. That might work if it were an animated show about a glee club of bees. We could call it Bee. Hmm. What if we called it Bee and used animated bees? That's brilliant, Mr. Stewart. That's why you're the boss. Ah, yeah, well, I worked hard to get here. So, Nelson, you own the rights to this idea? Oh, yes. You haven't shopped it around? NBC, CBS, ABC, FOX, uh, DNR, EPA, no. NPR, PTA? Wait, there was an animated movie about bees. I don't know what they say. Hmm. Ah, doesn't matter. It was a stupid idea. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. It's okay, Skippy. We're not getting much to work with here. Nelson, give me your best or hit the streets. And let me make myself very clear. No more zombie crap. Um, I, uh, um, okay. It's 1865, and our, uh, the Civil War has torn our country apart. Our hero gets a letter from his wife saying that she's going to have a child. And he deserts his post, makes his way across the South, back to his home in Northern Virginia. Wait, 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 a period love story with a twist. I love it. Skippy, get Brad on the phone. He's perfect for the part. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Stewart's office for Mr. Pitt. Thank you. Hello, Brad. This is Mr. Stewart's office. Do you have time? Excellent. Hold for Mr. Stewart. Line one. Brad! How's it going? How are the kids? Oh, too soon? Sorry about that. <laughs> ah, hey, your life is about to get better because I've got a lead on a new script. Listen to this. Civil War soldier deserts his post, fights his way home through enemy lines just to just to be with his wife when she gives birth. Soldiers from the north and south catch up to him and uh, they shoot it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but, I know, it's great. That's not how it ends. What? Uh, he, he gets back to his home and, and he goes to the door and he opens the door and his wife and child are zombies. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about wasting your time, Brad. Uh -huh. yeah. Best wishes to the family. Oh, oh yeah, right. Uh, sorry again. I'm angry. I'm very angry.
Nicholson. You're done in movies. You're done in television. You're done in community theater. You're done in this town. You are dead to me. Zombies are dead. <laughs> Zombies are dead? <laughs> See what I did there, Skippy? Very funny, Mr. Stewart. You should have been a comedian. That's brilliant. Hello, Stewart's office. Line one, line one, Arnold is in trouble. Arnold, yeah, talk to me. What? Oh, no way. Zombies? I do not not possible. Uh, Skippy, get on that webnet thing and uh, check it out. Oh, man, I think this ring is kind of spoke. Well, we might have to sell this contract. Wait, he's right. A sudden zombie outbreak has occurred. California is being overrun right now. Are they fast or are they slow zombies? What? Ask him, are they fast or are they slow zombies? Arnold, are they fast zombies or slow zombies? Uh-huh. He says they're medium fast. Yeah, hang in there, Arnold. Um, um, zombies from Chinatown. Medium speed zombies. They find out they can be killed with a cleaver to the head. Arnold, you hear that? You got a cleaver? Excellent. Uh huh? Well, go ahead. Hit one on the head. I think I hear him hitting one on the head. It works? Great job. Arnold, keep that up. You'll be just fine. Hey, your ratings get back up there, too. You too. That worked. Nelson? Great job. Good lord, no, line one, line one. Stuart here. Nelson, a fast zombie is chasing Baldwin down the street. He won't last long, he's fragile. Yes, um, uh, zombie Thon, it's a story of fast zombies. They enter a marathon. Uh, they lost when Team Russia cheated by tying their shoes together. Got it, Baldwin, tie his shoes together. Here to listen. Uh, we lose bald when we take a big hit. Huh? What's that? It worked? It stopped chasing you. Super job. Hey, get a massage and petty on me. Yeah. Who's next, Skippy? I've got Cy on line two. I got this one. Hello, Cy. What's shaking? Yeah? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you, we got a real zombie thing going on today from the looks of it. Uh -huh. A gang of zombies. Here's what you do. Stare them down and show them some of your moves. Oh. Uh-huh. Sorry about that, Sai. Hey, better luck next time. You take care now. Well, that didn't work. I didn't have anything for that one. Ah, don't beat yourself up. His time was up a long time ago. Now, back to work. I have Stuart Studios on the line. Mr. Stuart Sr. himself. <clears throat> Stuart here. Talk to me. Yes, yes, you heard right. We, we have a zombie expert on staff. Uh-huh. What's the situation? Zombie cats? Seriously? Zombie cats from Mars. Um, our hero puts out a can of tuna and kills them with an iron. Uh-huh. Okay. Father, here's what you do. Stay calm. Go to a corner and remain perfectly still. Keep your eyes closed.
Nelson, have you ever considered a career in film? But I do have a career in film. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Nelson. Listen, seems there's an opening in the head office. I'm going over there to fill it, and uh, that leaves a vacancy here. How would you like to be vice president of new media projects? Well, I, 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 you, I, you know. Excellent. Skippy, bring the car around. Yes, sir. Let me see one of those scripts. Jenny's a zombie. The DJ's a zombie. Who's Jenny? Your receptionist. Oh, no problem. Uh, call down the pool and get another one, son. Uh, get another DJ, too. Right away, sir. They're clocking the exit. Receptionist zombie girls. Uh, the UPS delivery driver, he takes out an entire office full of zombies using his pitching wedge that he was going to deliver to a doctor. Oh, I like that. Skippy, grab my pitching wedge and oh, make a path to the car. Yes, sir. One problem. This is a right-handed wedge and I'm left-handed. It won't work. Nelson, you want something done right, do it yourself. Do you think it's safe to open it? I think we should wait a while. Well, you're the expert. Let's just take a few moments to get you situated in your new office while we have the time. <laughs> My boss was eaten by zombies. Indeed. Page 36. Brilliant writing, I might add. I think you have a bright future ahead of you. Can I get you anything? How about a scotch and water? Ha, 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 ha. 